good morning children good morning children welcome back to previous class okay last class i had started with new chapter that is water okay now water how much it is important you all have studied already in last class and the different types of water that is sources of water you get from where and all that is lakes streams ponds everything and you have studied even about underground water the water rain water it goes underground that that is the mud sucks the water and it goes deep inside and how do they take out the underground water by digging well and they put hand pumps everything so all this is found in village side now after that we have studied about rivers lakes ponds how pure the water will be so you can't drink directly so you have to boil the water and then drink why you have to boil because there will be so many uh, impurities in that you will be finding all small small germs in that so once you heat up nicely you boil and cool then all these germs will be killed in that water and then the water will be good for you to drink after that you have studied even about the forms of water different forms that is there are three forms of water solid liquid and gas last class i had explained you solid means you have to do an experiment this you can do at home keeping the water in the freezer that is pour the water in the ice tray and keep it in the freezer for 2 to 3 hours once you take out the water what you have poured it will come out in the solid form that is the ice cube okay so that is solid form next is liquid form liquid form is the ice cubes what you get you keep it on the table for some time and for the temperature the surrounding temperature environment it will be little warm so for that the water starts melting so gradually the uh, ice cube will become only water form so this is known as melting next form is gas so what is gas form means take little water you have to heat up the pan on the stove and once it starts boiling the water vapor comes out you can see the vapor you can feel it also if you keep your hand above that you can feel the vapors so that vapors which is coming out is the water so it is called as water vapors which comes out one as a steam okay so on heating water in liquid form changes into water vapor this process is called evaporation on cooling the same thing once you close the lid you can see after some time when you lift the lid those water vapors gets collected to the lid and if you tilt like this it becomes so droplets and again in the water form you will be getting it back so that is called condensation so till here i had stopped in last class this class let us continue with water cycle what is water cycle it is a process how you get water there is a process the way you get water so i'll be reading and explaining it to you there is a picture also i will draw so you will be able to uh, understand more easily the sun heats the water in ponds rivers and lakes okay you might have noticed uh, in village side everywhere or out of station when you go you will be seeing rivers lakes oceans everything so what will happen the sun it will be so hot it will heat up all this water when you touch sometimes it will be hot warm so it heats up all this waters okay this water changes into water vapor on heating continuously the sun uh, sun rays will be falling on that and it will be getting heated up and it will go in the form of vapor as you see saw last uh, this thing gas how you got the water vapors once you heat up same way now the sun is heating up this water and it is changing into vapors you can't notice that but the vapor form it will be going up this water vapor rises in the air rises because it is very light it goes in the air rises means it goes in the air it cools and forms small water droplets so it will get cooled and small small 
water droplets will be formed these water droplets forms clouds these small small water droplets is the one which you see in the sky in the form of clouds okay <coughs> inside the clouds the small drops of water join and form big drops so inside the cloud so cloud will be like this so inside this small small droplets will join and it becomes big okay so the big, big drops these big drops become so heavy again what will happen this water small droplets small droplets join it becomes big so again it becomes big 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 becoming big it becomes heavy it can't stand there okay that clouds cannot hold them big big drops it can't hold then these water drops fall as rain okay so rain is what the big droplets which will be in the cloud due to the heavy thing it starts forming falling down that falling down water is called the rain so again what will happen that rain it will come down it will fill the river lakes everything the sun will heat up and again it goes in the vapor form it forms up it goes in the air and and uh, on the above in the cloud it starts from droplets and those droplets will become bigger drops and again it becomes heavy and again it comes back down as in the form of rain so this process it goes on in a circle way so this is called water cycle water will be evaporated it will be going up again it comes down in the form of rain will be getting water again so this process goes on for this we call it as water cycle now rain water then fills up ponds lakes and rivers again water gets heated up by the sun and forms clouds these clouds bring us rain okay these clouds bring us rain that droplets what will it will become heavy again it starts falling down in the form of rain this cycle of water what i told you this routine it goes round and round so we call it a cycle this cycle of water forming water vapor clouds then falling as rain and filling up ponds rivers and lakes is called water cycle okay children understood what i told now the sun will heat up the water the water changes to water vapor it goes to the air in the air it gets mixed up it goes and it gets becomes small small droplets in the clouds and those small droplets will become bigger droplets and becomes heavy and again it comes down because of the heaviness again it falls down in the form of rain so this process will be going on going on and this is called as water cycle now i will draw this picture on the board so that it will be easy for you to understand <clears throat> So this is the main thing. You can see the sun here. and the clouds
Okay, now this is the water. Now, this is the sun, as you know. So, the sun heats up the water here. Okay, once it is heated up, the water forms the vapor formation and it goes and goes to the clouds. In the clouds, there will be small, small droplets. These small droplets will become big, like this, big, big droplets. And what will happen? It will move and dash each other like this. And again, it comes back to down as a rain. You can see, I've written rain. It will come and collect here. Again, this process will go on. Sun will heat up. It forms to water vapor, water droplets. Then because of heavy, again, it starts falling down in the form of rain. So this is called water cycle because this procedure will be going always continuously. This goes on. And that is how you get rain. Okay, children, understood? So this is very simple. Just heats up, water vapor, droplets, and in the clouds, the droplets will become heavy and it falls down. Again, water will be filled here. It will be going on, rounding, rounding, same procedure. Okay, now I want you all to draw this in your book. It's very easy. You can draw, label this, and bring it to next class. Okay, now I'll be rubbing. Next, we will study. So after this water cycle, next for all, uh, like for all, what and all will be using water how it will be. So we'll study next. When water contains many harmful substances and germs which causes water, it is called polluted water. So, so many germs, everything will be mixed in water. We'll not be knowing. That is the reason you have to boil and drink. So such kind of water is called polluted water. Polluted water. So polluted water becomes unfit for human consumption. Consumption means to drink. People wash clothes and bathe in river water. How they use river water? Some of them, they'll take bath in that. They'll give bath for animals also. They'll wash clothes. Okay. The waste from factories also enter the rivers. All these make the water polluted. How water will become polluted? Some factories and all, they will throw the waste in this water itself all the waste will go inside the river and that is how this water gets polluted this polluted water contains many harmful germs so it has got so many germs it's not good for anything even for plants growing also plants will get spoiled if we drink this water we may become sick so we should not drink this contaminated water we should drink only clean and safe water. 
So here you can see in the picture how much dirty it will be water they have given in the textbook. And for what all they use this river waters. Okay. Water is very precious. As I told you, it's very important also. Very precious also. You should not waste water. You should save the water. Therefore, we should not waste water. We should use it wisely. Means you should use it in a proper way. We should close the tap when not in use. We should store rainwater in tanks, drums and buckets and use it for washing utensils and clothes and even for cleaning the floor. Okay, children. So how you have to use water? It is very important and it is so it should not be wasted also. It is very precious. So water should be used wisely means you should think and use it properly. Simply you should not spill water everything. Okay, you have to save water. Now by this I have ended up the lesson. I finished the lesson in this forms of water and water cycle is very important. So you have to learn the picture also. See that you draw. I have, you will be getting the notes in PDF in that I have drawn the picture of this water cycle. I want you all to draw neatly like that only. Okay. Now let us do the exercise that is fill in the blanks and name the sources of water here I have given the pictures these two mains i'll write on the board copy down quickly so first main fill in the blanks First one, all living beings need dash. All living beings need water. Second one, dash is the main source of water. Uh, which is the main source of water? Rain. Once rain comes only down, the ponds, lakes and all will get filled up. The water that goes deep into the ground is called Underground water. Underground. Underground water or ground water also you can write. Fourth one. The most common way to clean water is how do you drink water? You have to boil. So boiling. Next. Fifth one. The solid form of water is dash. How do, uh, I have told you three forms in that first one, solid form. How do you get solid form? By freezing ice cubes. You will make ice cubes, no? Sixth one, the changing of water into water vapor on heating is called evaporation. 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 The changing of water vapor into water on cooling is called condensation. Condensation. Equal. The cycle of forming water vapor, then clouds falling as rain and filling rivers and lakes is called water cycle. Water cycle. Ninth one. Water containing disease causing germs is called polluted water. Tenth one. Dash, dash, and dash are the three forms of water solid, liquid, and gas. Yes.
Liquid and gas. Okay, now after this, second name. Choose. First one, dash is the water that goes deep into the ground. They have given you the answer options here. Surface water, ground water. So, ground water is the answer. Ground water. Second one, the most common way to clean water is dash, boiling and freezing. So, answer is boiling. Third one, water changing into a solid form on cooling is called dash, melting, freezing. So, answer is freezing. Fourth one, the changing of liquid form of water into water vapor on heating is called evaporation. Evaporation. Once you heat the water, you can see the water vapors going up. So this is called evaporation. If we drink polluted water, we get dash, get sick. Now next, name the sources of water that you have to do on your own. Seeing the picture, you have to write down by yourself. So today's homework is, I'll write down here, you have got a lesson number, down and write, question answers, one, Two and three from lesson A. Homework. Paper class. Okay, children. So that is your homework. You have to write the homework and submit in next class. That is on Friday. You have to do submission for correction. Okay. So by this, I have finished this chapter. Next class, I'll see you with new chapter. Okay. Thank you.